Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be for people who are running Godot on low end hardware. So if you are not running Godot on low end hardware, then this video is not for you. So today's video is gonna be about changing some settings in Godot that make it run a little bit faster. Because right now I'm on a low end hardware and it's not really performing that well. We've got like an almost empty scene over here. We've just got two planes, the water plane and the ground plane and some fences and the player. So if we play the scene right now, you can see that it's not performing as well. And down below over here you've got the FPS. You know, it's not really that great. It's around 30 FPS. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to tinker some settings in Godot to get a little bit more FPS. So let's get right in. So the first thing you want to do is go into project and project settings. Then scroll down until you see rendering and go into quality. Now over here under filters you've got the NS traffic filter level, change this into 1 and you can disable MSAA. Now under directional shadow you can change the size into 1024 and the size that mobile into 512. Same thing with the shadow atlas, 1024 and 512. Now we can scroll down even more and over here we've got the filter mode, disable that. And you can also disable high quality GGX. Scroll down a little bit more and into subsurface scattering we can make the quality into low. Scroll down a little bit more and HDR you can disable that. Now, just as a disclaimer, these settings are gonna make your game a little bit uglier than it used to be, but it can get you more performance. Now, go into display window over here and you can disable use vsync and you can go upwards and we can decrease the resolution. You can set this into like 800 times 600, just like so. Now press on save and restart. And Godot is gonna be restarted. After we have applied all of these settings, just open up the output. You can see that our game would perform much better. As you can see now it has much much better performance and down over here at the FPS counter you can see that we have pretty rock solid FPS. So yeah, this was today's video, hope you enjoyed, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you later.